Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into history of Marine Corps boot camp in 1950. We'll explore what it looks like back then, the challenges the recruits faced, and how it compares to boot camp today. Whether you're passionate about military life, history, the Marine Corps, this video is for you. Let's jump into it. Semper Fi. Old school bus. Hey, let's start with a little bit of history. In the 1950s, it was a time of significant change and development for the Marine Corps. Uh, after World War II, the Marine Corps was in a period of transition. Um, the Korean War broke out in 1950, um, requiring a rapid expansion of training of new recruits. Uh, boot camp during this era was intense. It was designed to quickly turn civilians into battle-ready Marines. There's a little bit of history going on here too. And in the 1950s, Marine Corps boot camp was held in two locations. That's Paris Island, South Carolina, San Diego, California. There's your haircut, as always, that traditional haircut. And the recruits, they underwent a grueling 12-week training program. Back then it was 12 weeks. During Vietnam, it switched to nine weeks. But here it's still 12 weeks. They're issuing their gear. The training was physically demanding. It was mentally tough with a heavy emphasis on discipline, physical fitness. If you're not used to showering together or with a group of 60 plus individuals, that's something that you might need to work on because you're going to learn how to shower quick and in a hurry. It's lean, mean fighting machines, as you can see here. Um, the drill instructors in the 50s, they were known for their strict and often harsh methods. They had a singular goal to prepare recruits for the rigors of combat. Simple. You're going to learn how to even do it. He's going to show you how it's done the correct way. And then it's up to you to finish and hone in those skills and perfect it the way he wants you to do it. Uh, the training was involved um, in long marches, rifle drills, hand-to-hand -hand combat training, uh, physical conditioning. That drill instructor's got a weapon on too, which is never saw. <laughs> so there you go. He's going to show you, he's going to do it for you, and then he's going to mess it up and make you correct yourself and do it the right way. This is classic. I mean, there's, nothing's changed in, you know, 60, 70 years. Okay, five seconds at Waze Energy Drink, www.wazeenergy.com. I'll put a link down below, whether you're in the Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, Space Force, yes. No matter who you are, they support all veterans, and they support the local community as well. Go check them out. Use code USMC99 for 10% off. Simplify. And the recruits were pushed to their limits, both physically and mentally. It was a it was a tough time. I mean, you as you can see here, there's your issuing of your gear. Um, you know, fast forwarding today, uh, what it is like to the core values and the mission of the Marine Corps that still remains unchanged to me. Um, boot camp has evolved in many ways. Um, there's still modern training, but they still emphasize on marksmanship, as you can see here, physical fitness, discipline, and the most important, it's combat readiness. Um, but there's also significant differences. The times were different. The things were different. As you can see, graduation was different. The uniforms were different. But, as I've said before, the traditions still hold true to this day. That parade deck has had many of Marines made and marched across that parade deck. And I think there's a support system now that you get um, in the Marine Corps that you didn't get back then. Okay, I want to take a little break two seconds to talk about that support system, what I'm talking about that you did not get back then and what you get today. Back in the day, I just think when you got home from a combat environment or some kind of deployment, and then when you transitioned out of the service, out of the Marine Corps, there was really no help and no guidance to where you go and what you do afterwards. And there was no really welcoming party to help you walk through that process. Today, I know there are programs, there's type of things that you're going to take when you're in, there's courses before you EAS, before you get out and go to the civilian world. I know there are programs that you have to go through that guide you and help you and point you in a direction where you can use those skills in the civilian life that you learned in the Marine Corps. So those have changed because back then it was very much non-existence, but in today, they try to shape you and look forward to your future going forward. 
Okay, the evolution of the Marine Corps boot camp is a testament to the enduring spirit and the adaptability of the Corps from the harsh and demanding training of the 1950s um, to the comparison and the supportive environment of today. The Marine Corps continues to produce some of the finest warriors in the field. As you can see in the video, uh, times have changed, techniques have changed, the battlefield has changed, but the core values have still not changed. Honor, courage, and commitment. It's still worth fighting for. I'm 100% agree with that. Simplify. Okay, the path to greatness is never easy. It's how we overcome those challenges that shapes us in what we are meant to be. And I think Marine Corps Boot Camp does that. It's been doing that since 1775 when my Marine Corps came alive until this day. The honor, courage, and commitment, the history, the heart, how to adapt and overcome challenges and face them head on and then learn from them, apply them to life in whatever situation you might be in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if there's anything I missed or something you would like to see. Till then, I'll catch you on the next one. Simplify.